all yeah but just looking at this uh, this job burnout yeah you know a lot of people as a man right their identity is what they do and I realized that I mean when I was a financial consultant I was um, well, I introduced myself hello my name is Paul I'm a financial consultant with Washington Mutual yes and that was very much a part of my identity but having been homeless for seven and a half years I do not uh, have an identity with my actual work. <laughs> now, um, I mentioned certain laws that are being violated. Yeah. See, I can go through this documentation over here. Yeah. And I can say, well, you had no jurisdiction to issue the protection order in 2011. I can actually prove it. <laughs> my sons were abducted. They're being held hostage because you kidnapped them. Now, uh, I don't actually get my identity from my job anymore. <laughs> I am wanting to go to work. I have some things that I'd like to do. <laughs> and for those in the federal government that don't like the idea of somebody kind of looking over their plans before they pass the legislation and <laughs> asking them a few questions like, oh, $5.4 billion, let's build a big wall. That'll be really good. <laughs> What's the next administration going to do? Mm -hmm. There are... There are certain reasons why there were uh, some checks and balances of the United States Treasury. Yes, I realize that each and every building that is owned by the United States is actually the property. <laughs> you're just the employees. And as much as you get your identity as an employee, <laughs> you're a senator from whatever state and you introduce yourself that way. <laughs> You'll only be a senator as long as you get reelected, and uh, eventually you won't. <laughs> then you. <laughs> it's difficult. I know your identity is your job description, whatever you were elected to office to do. <laughs> but for some old guy that just sits there and looks at all these various plans for the next seventy years, <laughs> you're gonna do what? <laughs> you're gonna spend how much money? <laughs> you know, I've known. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to give me my sons, and then I'm going to get a whole lot of documentation. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to sue those that have sworn that they would support and defend the Constitution. And <laughs> if General Miley's concerned, <laughs> is it the actual army that's building that wall? Because <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, General, you're a general as long as you're there, and then you retire like the rest of them. <laughs> For those that are retired generals that are sitting back looking at the General Miley and all that authority that you have over the United States Army, <laughs> they remember what it was like when they had that job. <laughs> now, they have some burnout buster suggestions. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> the next time a stranger asks you what you do, you say, I'm in the Army. <laughs> you take the stars off your shoulder. <laughs> No, you know, I know General Miley, <laughs> there have been quite a few four-star generals before yourself and <laughs> each and every one of them, when they retired, they had to take the stars off. <laughs> now, no, I'm not thanking you for your service. You know, there's the idea, okay, <laughs> an employee of the United States military, yes, is similar to uh, a garbage man. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now you can give them a Christmas card with $5 in it. <laughs> <laughs>